Hello everybody and welcome back to the council. Um I forgot where we were at. There was a lady who got into a fight with an angry guy. I made uh, the president mad at me and I've still tried to find my mom. So there we go. I think that's all we got. Continue. Let's go. Oh yeah, I ruined a book. That's right. Go to the salon on the first floor. Okay. Fine. And we're looking for like a Gorgon, right? That was her deal. I wish I had larceny. I don't. Okay. Let's, oops. The front door is this way. Excuse me, Louis. If I get a chance, I may have to take a Oop, little one moment. tour through the rooms of the other guests. Cats are fighting. And back. All right, cats have been disengaged. Oh, they are so angry today. How do I get that off of me? The um, what is it? It was like an affliction. Don't I have? There it is. Two effort points. Negative negative alterations. I guess that's two. So let's try. There we go. Now I don't have negative stats to everything. Hopefully that'll be helpful. I'm looking around for glowing bits too. That tends to happen a lot. Wait, was that something new? No, it's just fancy. Okay. I'm really glad he doesn't have stamina because these hallways are long. That's the door to Elizabeth's room. Okay. Do you want me to go in here? I mean, I can, I guess. That's cool. For God's sakes, what happened in here? Whoa. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, there's a pentagram. What the heck? Here, I thought this game wasn't going to be spooky. Oh, the walls. Oh, the painting. Somebody not like the painting? Ooh, there's a letter. My dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. We won't be able to meet as planned on the first Sunday of May. I've been told that you're no better. And, unfortunately, your brothers and I are absolutely snowed under by the work required to govern this new country. Please, excuse us. As soon as we can get free, even if it's just for a day, I promise we shall come and see you. Your loving father, John Adams. Hmm. P.S. Don't hold it against your mother if she still isn't ready. Please don't judge her. I'm sure you'll be able to put all of this behind you one day. What happened? She's supposed to be dead, right? Oh, this is a mirror. I thought it was a painting. What? It's weird. It's like a bunch of runes and stuff. Is she like a ghost lady? A chest with a half circle pattern. Oh! Can't do it. I don't have a key either. Wasn't there one in our mom's room too that had a circle pattern? Or somewhere. There is another one. Um, that's glowing, isn't it? No? Sorry if you can hear my cat in the background. He's, he's yelling. He likes to sing after he eats. <laughs> Devil's thorn. Ooh. I'll keep it. I'll take all of the items, please. Oh, my royal jelly is full? It's royal jelly one. I'll use it. Looks like I found a box containing some kind of white crystals. Don't I have science? Well, hold on. Did it not save from last time? I swear I had, like, science. Oh, it takes two. Well, monkeys. Should have seen that earlier. I don't want to consume the crystals. <laughs> I don't know what they are. 
Um, maybe I can get some science this next go around. Okay. There's a pentagram, which we're just going to walk through. Why? I don't know. Maybe we'll get to summon a demon or something. What's that? Collector coins. More coins. Okay. Spooks. Okay. What is this? A novel of the initiation of a young woman into a polite society. Discovered immunity. Oh, she's good against psychology, huh? June 11th, 1791. Hmm. My dear Elizabeth, your last letter gave me much cause for concern. Your words were so cold, as if emotions no longer mattered to you. Father maintains that the secondary effects of your treatment still trouble you. Secondary but effects. that they will soon subside. Should I believe him? I cling to the belief that we shall soon see each other again, at long last. Right soon. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. Don't forget to tell me what present you want. Aww. She has a nice sister, too. So she's apparently a little weird. I, I have a feeling they like zombie fighter or something. August <laughs> I'm not 24th, sure. 1792. Elizabeth, I am driven to despair and doubt there is any point in writing to you. I'm not even sure you'll mm -hmm. receive my letters. Father controls my correspondence more and more. I am certain... He filters our exchanges. That's not good. Thankfully, one of the chambermaids is able to help me get my letters to you. But they still remain unanswered. I often think about you and pray every day to be able to hold you tight. We have so much time to make up. I beg you, answer me, please. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. That horrible woman came again yesterday. She spent a long time speaking with Father. I didn't understand everything because they spoke in French, but I'm sure they were talking about you. wonder which horrible lady is like my mom or something. Five circles shaped key. Ooh, okay, cool. Third November, the other thing. 1791. My dear sister, the cancellation of our reunion hit me like a stab to the heart. Mm. Father told me it was for your well-being, but I can't help but blame him. He claims that your condition has worsened and that it could be dangerous for both of us if we met. What? If only I knew where you were, believe me, I'd be at your side. I haven't received any news from you in a long time. Please write. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. I hope you like the enclosed talisman. Huh. Okay, so she went with some weird treatment. We know that. What's this? Oh, that's the... Okay, can't leave anyway. Um, that her dad was keeping her away from everybody for some reason. And we know that she was supposed to have died, too. But she obviously didn't. Which is why George Washington was like, what the heck? Still really weird to say that in a video game. Apparently I'm not used to playing Assassin's Creed anymore. Or else I'd be saying that a lot. <laughs> this historical figure I met. Oh, okay. We should have the key, I think. A chest with a half circle pattern. I guess not. We only have a half circle. Or we have a five circle. I swear there was one with five circle. Or at least some sort of circles. So, okay, cool. This is the letter. I think that was everything. Other than the crystals over there. Uh, I mean... I'm surprised you can't check out the pentagrams. Or that. The heck is that? I think he'd know. Um, Alright, cool. Let's go down then. I'll tell George Washington about this, I guess. Unless I run into Elizabeth immediately. No. Oh no. Which way was down? <laughs> Is it coming from this way? Uh, we're gonna take a little jaunt down a hallway, not knowing which way I'm going again. Hopefully it's not back to my room. I have a feeling going back to my room. Where's down? This hallway is confusing to me for some reason. <laughs> it's gonna end up killing me at some point. Oh hey! That might have been the wrong way, but here I am. Hey, it's the 
servant fellow. Hello, friend. It might be better to take a different stairway. Oh. Okay. That must be the door to the room of the soldier I saw in my vision. This one? Oh. Well, let me unlock stuff, I guess. Or this one. Can't go into any of them. That's okay. Wait, I thought I saw a sparkly. Did I not? Okay. No, I do. It's the stairs. <laughs> That's where I need to be. All right. We're looking for uh, Medusa. Yeah? Hey! Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet. Sup? I really need to talk to you. Is this about last night? No, that was just a misunderstanding. I'm sure it was a little bit my fault, too. Hmm. There's no excuse for that man's horrible behavior. You ought to tell Sir Holm. Look, Good the man. only thing that I care about is that I've lost something precious. I'm not worried about Jack Peru. Um, I, I can't move my mouth. You didn't happen to lose this, did you? Where did you find it? In the small salon. It's the only reminder I have of my beloved sister. I thought that swine stole it from me. You're oh, her that son. Out. Sarah de Richet's son. Yes, why? She has Last no night, shoes. I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? Um... Excuse me, but speaking frankly, why would you care? I know your mother very well. Oh? Really? Yes, I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. Really? She nursed you. Oh, I wouldn't say nursed. No, I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. Jesus. I remember her knees, too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars oh, into man. me. Oh, man. Hold on a minute. What do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh, she's getting more and more agitated. And next, you're going to tell me my mother's also responsible for that scar on your head? My heart stopped twice during the operation. Oof. I lost my memory for six months. Oh, geez. You obviously have no idea of the abuse your mother inflicted on me. Wait. What did she do? There must be some kind of mistake. My only mistake was ever meeting your mother. She's able to describe every detail without hesitation or getting flustered. It's becoming difficult not to believe the poor girl. Look, I've... I've got to go. Wait. I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? Oh, confrontation. There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? Um... You're right. I I don't Oof, want this conversation to turn into an interrogation. You suffered enough already. I I respect your silence. Please excuse me. Is that a blunder? Well, thank you. Oh, no, it's not. Thank goodness. Oh, I know mad. your little game. You're no different from the rest of them. Excuse me? You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. I mean, yes. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Be nice. Okay. Some people be care nice. about you, don't they? Haven't you got a sister? Yes. I'm sure she loves you with all her heart. She's the only one. She's the only one who cares about me. Mm -hmm. I would have put an end to it all by now if it weren't for her. Since you insist, I'll tell you how I met your mother. Yes! Thanks for trusting me. Gotcha. You see, before I was born, my mother often suffered from hallucinations and fits of anger. Soon people could barely recognize her. She became a completely different person. So my father spent an enormous amount of money paying for the best doctors but none of them were able to cure her. The last resort was to call a priest. So, is that what your father did? No. He went to an expert in the occult. Ah, hmm. my mother. Her reputation already extended beyond our borders. My mother's fit stopped at my birth, and Sarah de Richet concluded that the evil had passed into me. What the heck? Not only did it encourage her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to... Separate me from the rest of my family. What the heck? That's how I was declared stillborn. My fate was decided that very day. 
Wow. It would coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. That's when your mother began her experiments to rid me of the evil inside. Hmm. I understand how you feel, but I know my mother. I'm sure she had her reasons, even if it seems difficult to believe. No way. Everything she put me through was all for nothing. My whole life was ruined for nothing. So what brings you here then? My father used to know Sir Holm. He offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult. Lord Mortimer. He was my last hope. Until I found out he had also invited your mother. Yeah, it's not it's good got to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's come here for you. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know it. Oh. Her days are. Not yours, maybe. She didn't say bye. We just kind of walked away from the conversation. Hey, look, he's done brushing the stairs, sweeping the stairs. Gorgon. Ooh, look at that. We're also looking for a ton of eyes, aren't we? Saturn devouring his son. Good God, how awful. Everything in this painting is disturbing. It's the first time I've seen brushstrokes like this. Is this the red salon? Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's take a second. Let's take a look around. I want to see if they have... That's the same thing as the door over there. Fall of the Damned by Rubens. Okay. The man who cannot achieve the salvation of God the Father is offered to fall into the depths of the abyss. Hmm. Is there a spider lady or spider lady snake lady anywhere? I guess not immediately. Okay, how about you? Hey, what's up? What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. Yes, what can I find on the second floor? I was curious. That floor is strictly reserved for Lord Mortimer, sir. Okay. In the west wing on the second floor are his private chambers. In the east wing are the rooms reserved for Lord Mortimer's personal guests. At the moment, these rooms are reserved for Sir Holm, sir. But only authorized guests may access that area. Okay. Does sir have any more questions? Mm. What is outside on the island exactly? Lord Mortimer has made a point of keeping the main part of the island in its natural state, sir. For security reasons, only the wharves and the gardens are accessible to guests. Okay, so that's where my mom If went. sir would like to walk along the wharves, he has only to follow the pathway used upon his arrival. If he would like to walk in the interior gardens of the manor, I would advise, sir, to pass through the portrait gallery. May I help, sir, in any other way? That's good enough. Um, so there's a portrait gallery. That's probably where I can find the hint. Uh, where is the red saloon? Salon? Is this it? I don't know. No. It's out. I think that's the main door, so it must be this one. Hmm. Get lost in my own house. <laughs> Oh, how fancy. God, I'm hungry. Dear friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon hmm. Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army, and Jacques Peru, 
French Revolutionary Tribunal judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, mm. but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? Well, not really, no. Yes, that's it. Huh. That scared me, I thought I was going to miss totally it. He's place here. He's counting the ten sets of cutlery around each plate? The man is completely <laughs> lost. Me too. <laughs> Thank you again for the wine, your eminence. It is served every day at the king's table. I am delighted to hear it. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, mm. <laughs> But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French mm. are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> Jeez, she's really good in high society. Is the wine to your liking? Very much so, Sir Gregory. Such complexity. Typically French. The Sauterne, isn't it? Absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. Mm. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation ah. from the rule. But I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry. I appreciate the same grape varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury mm -hmm. was still in ruins. Would... would you repeat that? Oh, still well, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I, I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas <laughs> gift. Thank you. Oh. I made a promise. Now it is done. It's the first time I've ever seen her so moved. Oh, she wasn't faking. Just mention oh. that orphanage <laughs> broke right through Emily's hard shell. Is everything all right? Yes, thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. <laughs> sure. She's right next to me. It'd be weird to reach across the table. What do you think of Volner? The Prussian king is his puppet. I find it hard to believe the king of Prussia is so weak. Be careful. Volner is as influential as he is dangerous. You seem to know each other well. We used to work together. I see. I know where this is going. Napoleon looks tired. Have you any information on this Napoleon? Oh, please, go ahead. Um. <laughs> what do you think, madam? <laughs> what is this boat about doing here? The presence of a soldier is never a good sign. It can only mean there's going to be further war. To answer your question, I only know that his family were in favor of the revolution. <laughs> and that it almost cost them their lives. Thank you, that's helpful. <laughs> I don't know if he was being truthful and the that's helpful. That's a little Delicious. sarcastic. It would seem we have common interests. No. Could we speak in private, please? I don't want to. So this is before crap hits the fan? I'm not good with years or history, so forgive me. I'm like, I get pushed. Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order, through your mother, have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I'm listening. <laughs> An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. I don't trust that. You must know that I am deeply sorry about their disappearance. But I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. 
I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. Good play. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. I appreciate his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course, but I need to know if I can no. count you among my allies. Shoot. Well, of course. And for that, I have a little question for you. The agreement stipulates an aid of 50,000 louis d'or for 200 cannon. Oh my god. I've only just taken over the affair. The agreement will be considered null and void until we've gone through it together. Is that clear? All right. You seem to know what you're doing. I have one last question I would like to pose to you. I'm intoxicated? You... Oh... Dang, I didn't know that was a thing. Did I miss it? We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision oh, for I the future of France. Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful Front country, button. what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? What were you saying? I was talking. Um... The people make their own choices. You well, are joking, I, I hope. <laughs> the people are simply not capable of taking charge, don't you see? They are an uneducated mob who react on the spur of the moment. Oh, no. Incapable of providing a coherent vision for the good of the country. I'm gonna fail this. I don't know how to remedy the situation without re establishing a solid monarchy. And what would we stand to gain by this? We've tried a republic, but it is clear that with the situation we're in now, that it's not working. We ought to return to a monarchy. Please be right. That makes no sense at all. No! My the monarchy is a privileged caste who have forever built their prestige Shoot. by crushing and controlling the people. <laughs> I think there must be a misunderstanding. What do you mean? I cannot believe that Lord Mortimer advised Dang. me to speak to you. I'm illegitimate I must now. Have misunderstood. Excuse me, please. <sighs> Bravo, Louis. Total fiasco. Eh, I didn't like him anyway. <laughs> Whoops. My friends, I would like to say a few words, please. I would like to thank Lord Mortimer and you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> the last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. I see. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So I raise my glass in honor of you all, my new and old friends. I trust you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. Washington is a very gifted speaker. Leave him for five minutes with sworn enemies and he'll convince them to be friends for life. Right, we shall meet again tomorrow. Ah, All the community, guests huh? will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. Interesting. Hopefully my next conversation goes better. Ugh. I could have searched Napoleon's room? We'll try that later. I didn't know that.
Okay. So we did have... That's the lock too. Um, I do want to check the crystals. I wonder if I can do that. So we'll do that. What is this logic? There we go. Okay, so science, okay. And then... Oh, we still only have one. Okay, let's just use it somewhere else then. Agility. Oh, these are level one. Okay. Let's go. That looks right. Oh, wait. Do I still have more? Hold on then. Oh, I have a lot. I'm silly. Let's get that. Let's pour it in to everything. Let's get some etiquette. All right, there we go. Now we can break into things, I hope. All right, let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. All eyes size you up. What does this done do? Psychology, etiquette, etiquette, conviction. I don't really have a oh well let's do that then sure for all eyes size you up it has to be like a painting or a sculpture that's not all eyes but dining on ham well that's very appetizing food the lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Okay, there's a ton of these around then. We have it now. What is it? I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. Oh. It's just royal jelly. Okay, fine. All eyes size you up. Oh, hey, it's this guy. Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, the sin of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. <laughs> Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. Same. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Volner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes. I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. Nice. You will see. It's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you no, and Mr. Didn't. Bonaparte had already begun. We're not ah, friends. I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing, your minutes. But I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. I should think you are beginning to worry. Uh, no, not to really. To tell you the truth, not really. You are right. Be positive. Perhaps Sarah is in the company of Lord Mortimer, and they will both turn up shortly. <laughs> but Hopefully. While I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Go ahead. Yes. What can I do for you? As I haven't visited all the manor yet, I wondered if you hadn't seen a Medusa by any chance. I beg your pardon? I didn't want yes, to give the, him a the code. Gagne, the Medusa from Greek mythology. Would you have seen one in any shape or form? Not at all, my son. 
I'm not sure what you're getting at, but unfortunately, I, I'm not going to be of any use to you. Thank you anyway, Your Eminence. I won't take up any more of your time. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. See you later, my son. I don't think I made a mistake. I just really didn't want to give him any hints about what I'm like looking for right now. This painting has caused some debate. Who did Dosi paint? Alcina the fairy or Circe the magician? All eyes size you up. Is there any... Okay, we're gonna go through the door then. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Wait, what's this? Key with an occult earth symbol. Okay then. Didn't run into any of those, I don't think. Holy crap! Golden here. elixir. Oh. Oh. Apparently, I need to use royal jelly more. Uh uh. A few pages out of an old encyclopedia. Nice. Hmm. I want a library like that, though. Aha! This is interesting. Is it an observ observatory? <laughs> observatory? It's pretty. Where all eyes size you up. He's not looking up though. That Chances last one? are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And oh. she also spoke of a Medusa. Should I go and try to find the creature now? Let's go. Why not? We're here, right? Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Like what happened? Let's see, Medusa. I like the music. If I'm yelling, it's because it's a bit loud in my ears. Okay, Medusa. Just let me. No, that's like an orbit thing. Majiggy, I forgot what they're called. Nothing I can click on over there. Aha! There it is. Hello. Found you! You need eye thingies? I've got to find out what Mother was trying to do with her. Fix her eyes, probably? The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword. Okay. Hmm. A hero with a lantern. And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. Okay, so we turn them towards her. Easy enough. Where is her? Where is Lady? Okay. So if you have him turn around, he actually does like a full circle loop. Rotate toward Medusa. He's already... Can I rotate toward Medusa? Oh. Eh, he's okay. I think. We're gonna try to face him towards Medusa first. I think he's already facing Medusa. Okay. That didn't do it. If I respect the legend, I have to place the hero holding the shield in front of the Medusa. Except for here, it doesn't work. There must be something else. What do you mean in front of? It's already looking at her? Is that not enough? Think. To vanquish the beast, the statues have to be lined up in a specific order. 
Oh, what is it the sword guy? For? To protect its holder? No, it's a reflection. Why not? But in that case, what's the lantern for? Step back and take a second, Louis. Be logical, but open-minded. Think outside the box. Nobody said a statue has to have only one use. I wonder if the lantern was to distract the Medusa. This shield can both protect the holder and also reflect the light from the lantern to distract the beast. In other right. words, I'll have to make an angle of 90 degrees between the lantern and the Medusa by turning the shield to face the sword. Oh, if Mortimer's the one that. who thought of all this stuff, then honestly, he must have a screw loose. Crazy idea, but worth a shot. Okay. Rotate towards. Nice. Would have not guessed that. the door Whoa. Oh. Whee. nice all right Rah! for Pete's <laughs> sake Emily you scared the pants off me don't ever do that again well keep your nose out of my business then I don't know what you're talking about stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here uh... Oh yeah? So tell me what you're doing here. I'm just... I mean, I... Yeah, just like me. Nice. Probably, but I asked the question first. <laughs> well then, we'll pretend you haven't asked me yet. What about a little gallantry, Louie? Come on, I'm listening. What are you doing here? Um... Ladies first. Since you insist, Duchess. Gallantry obliges this. Ladies first. You just won't give in, will you? Never. I'm sorry, madam. It isn't in my nature. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Fine. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam. <laughs> That's me, too. All right. It's been about an hour, at least for me. So I'll go ahead and end it here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll be back next week. Bye for now.